First, we have to realize that we are in a day where the truth is masked. Mm -hmm. All right. But yet the Holy Spirit is called the spirit of truth. And in God, there is absolute truth. Absolutely. John, well, Jesus said in the book of John, when he was talking to his disciples, they would need the baptism of the Holy Spirit to guide them in all truth, because Jesus was going away, back to the Father. And he did not want to leave his disciples comfortless. Yeah. Because he had been with them, the instructor, the master teacher, all of a sudden he had to leave the scene. And how, how heavy their hearts were that their master, their instructor, would leave them. But he said, nevertheless, it's expedient that I go away. Yes. But I'm going to send you another comforter. And the Holy Spirit is in the earth today. Yes. A lot of people will fight, amen, his presence and his power and how he works and how he operates. But Jesus said that you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Spirit called the Spirit of Truth. And how important it is for the people of the Lord and the saints to walk in the truth. Yes. And in these last days, how the devil is rampant and how he's deceiving many, many people. But the people of God must not uh, be persuaded by his tricks. One thing that we need to understand is we need to be on a true foundation. Yes. Amen? Amen? If you notice, everything that is not a part of God is on a false foundation. Yes. Beginning with Lucifer, the devil, and then we heard it last night, never had it broken down quite like, like uh, Superintendent Paul, had it the devil, amen lost his estate, amen, in heaven, and he had came down, amen, and, and, and came the deceiver. Yes. So Jesus says, and wanted his disciples to know that any other foundation that is not of God is of the devil, and it is a lie. Right. Amen? amen? So the world is built on a false foundation. Everything the world stands for is a L-I-E lie. Yes. Amen? And so important that we are not persuaded by his lies and his tricks. Amen? So once we're positioned on the foundation, and the foundation is no other but Jesus Christ, none other but Jesus Christ. Amen? He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come unto the Father but by me. So our foundation is on Jesus Christ. Amen? And how important that we are not indoctrinated with seeds. The seed, how, how he operates. He might have an element of truth, but his overall objective is deception. Yeah. Ah. See, he can come in, wrap it in a bowl, may look good on the outside, but his ultimate advice is to trick you. Right. Amen. So the world is constituted on a lie, on this false foundation. Amen. And in our times, we need to be alert as a church. Amen. So we must be on our job as the saints. And what we have to do is we have to engage in spiritual warfare. Amen. In the book of Revelation, we see chapter 3 that the last church lay at a sea. Amen. And Jesus is there talking, giving John revelation of the end times. And saints, we are in the end times. I hope you believe it. Amen. We are in the last days. Amen. And so it's critical, amen, not to sway away from the truth in the last days. Amen. He told the church of Laodicea, I would that you were either hot or cold. But because you are neither, you're lukewarm. 
And I'm going to spew it, spew you out of my mouth. Right. And, and what the underlying thing he's saying there is rejection. Mm. See, when you believe a lie, amen, you begin to live the lie. Right. And your actions begin to show the lie. See what I'm saying? So, in the latest thing in church age, yes. we are in this period now yes. where men are compromising because of gain, yes. or riches, yes. or fortune, yes. or entitlement. Yes. And Jesus, in the church scene, in the latest scene, knocks on the door. Now we use Revelation 3.20 as a great tool for evangelism. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice, will open up the door, I will come in and sup with him. He said that. But however, the underlying truth behind verse 20, Jesus is knocking at the door trying to get in of his own church. And you notice every church that he addressed the remaining six, the earlier six, were addressed to a specific church and it's in the singular. However, Laodicean is plural. That means he's coming, he wants to sup with you, that man, he wants to sup with you, that man. He's no longer talking to a general church, he's talking to individuals. So we are in a time that you can be sold out right here among your own. He wants to come in yes. and sup with us. My God. My God. Government and world leaders will fail us. Yes. So if you're looking at a political system, that foundation is faulty. Yes. Who are you elect in office? They sit during their campaign, they're going to do thus and thus. Yes. And we're going to approve this. False. And we're going to put money into this program and that program. Yes. And once they get in the office, ah, it's they changed the tune. Hallelujah. False foundation. And we as the church, the people of God, cannot just let the religious quo satisfy us. We can never be fulfilled. Religion will never fulfill our longing desire. We need truth. And none other but the Spirit of God can satisfy that longing desire. Hmm. Look at this. Whatever, whatever foundation you're standing on, other than Christ, will fail. Yes. Hallelujah. He says, you shall know the truth. And the truth will... See, the mind is the battlefield in which he works on. Ah, it starts off with a thought, a seed, amen. And then the seed grows into something else, and then you act upon what's good. Out of the heart, the Bible says, blows the issues of life. Yes. Praise the Lord. And facts can get us in trouble. There's a lot of facts out there. Yes. And even in the church, it met amongst the people of God. Yes. Did you hear what he said? Or did you hear what she said? Yes. Amen. After it's been generated, people start believing it. Yes. But see, facts, my brothers and sisters, are temporary. Yes. Amen. However, truth is eternal. Yes. Amen? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And see, a lot of people will believe the lie quicker. Yes. It's fast. Yes. If you get, it, it, it gets around so fast. Yes. And before you get home from church, uh, it's, it's, it's already there. Yes. Uh. However, on this foundation, yes. Jesus tells his disciples, Knowing the truth and knowledge that he wanted to impart in them was important. Being free from bondage. And I know that we as holiness people, Pentecostal people, amen, talked about holiness for years. The, pro the byproduct of holiness is deliverance. Yes. See, it's not just what we put on, yes. what we take off. Yes, you see what I mean? The greater truth is being free from anything that binds or has us bound. Yes. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Christ comes to set the whole man free. Yes.
spirit, soul, and body. First Thessalonians 5, 23 says, I pray that your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So his kingdom had to be set forth in his disciples and us uh, as a church. His kingdom has to be set forth as a foundation upon everything we build our lives on. The song says, build your hope on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. So once the truth is in us, now we can establish everything that God wants us to establish. Amen? Your home, your family, if it's based upon the right foundation, you make the right choices. Amen. Amen? You don't have to be wishy-washy. Amen? Because the word is your God. Amen? Hide the word in the hearts. The Bible said, uh, Psalm says, Lord, thy word have I hid in my heart. David said that, that I might not sin against thee. Yes. Amen. So once we are on this foundation, we can know without a shadow of a doubt. No one has to tell us. Amen. And the last day church is going to go through the greatest persecution. Why? Before the Lord Jesus comes back. We're preparing the scene. Amen. Before the coming of our Lord. Amen. The world is looking for answers. Do we have the truth within us? Saints of God. Before the Antichrist comes in and his spirit is already working. Amen. The son of perdition is not yet on the scene yet. But the spirit of Antichrist is here. Among us. Deceiving whom he will deceive. And the Bible says he will deceive even the very elect. My God. So how important for us to have a foundation. Yes. Amen. Amen. The truth of God's word. Amen. Amen. Second Thessalonians, and I'm going to be reading various verses there. With the disciples and the writers here in our, old, in our New Testament uh, books were waiting for the intimate coming of the Lord. They thought, the early church thought they had just a few short years to live. Amen before God's going to come because there was so much persecution. There they said, our deliverer is coming. But see, delay is not denied. See? Amen. God has got some things he wants to do in the earth today. I mean, before he comes back. He's setting the stage and the devil knows that his time is short. I want to we begin at verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. <laughs> verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For well, that day shall come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that as so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. My God, look what's going to happen on the world scene. Amen. The Antichrist is coming to deceive the chosen people, the Jews. And once they accept, they think they're false Messiah. Amen. Coming to Israel to set them free. Amen. This son of petition in the embodiment of Satan is going to come and set himself in the temple of God to be worshipped. Amen. His ultimate aim is to be worshipped. Because see, he left, Pastor Paul, last night you said his first estate. Amen. Amen. He was in charge of the music. And all his aim is and goal is to have everybody worship him. Mm. 